across is if you are a little bit more mature, I don't say older after a certain age, but if you are a little bit more mature, then you may want to make sure you're adding calcium. Now, I know for a lot of African-American women, we have very dense bones, but if you are um, menopausal or close to, you may want to make sure you're getting your calcium. If, and let me qualify. Let me stop and qualify. This program needs to be okay by your physician. If you are uh, chronically ill with any condition, if you would just check with your doctor and make sure that you can participate, it would be the safest thing. Because right now, I'm not your doctor. I am the uh, Dr. Jackie from Marriage and Medicine and the founder of It Is The New It, and I'm bringing you knowledge from so many different places, and we're going to share how you can get in touch with these wonderful trainers. And okay, so I like to buy mine already cut up. Uh, what's a good detox tea? Now, I really go into the store. I go to Whole Foods, I'll admit I do, and I find the word detox tea. <laughs> so I've never bought a particular brand of detox tea. You, do you know of a brand? No, you I just buy a base green tea, mm -hmm. and you can add lemon mm -hmm. and a little bit of vinegar, which is a great apple cider vinegar, which is a great detoxifier, as well as um, helps to speed up or expect the fat burning process. Right. A small bit of vinegar in your tea you won't even notice the taste. At the same time, it's economical yet highly effective mm -hmm. so far as detox. Right. And, and I still will take a shot of apple cider vinegar mm -hmm. in the morning. There you go. And so it has so many medicinal benefits as well. But um, definitely, we're trying to make sure we cover every question that we've seen. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them right now, and I'll try to get some of them answered. I obviously can't get them all answered. Um, there's been one question about pregnancy. Obviously, you know I'm an obstetrician, so I must qualify and say, please, Check with your obstetrician before you do anybody's program and do anything. But women who work out, one, they maintain better weight control. They labor faster and easier. The endurance is so much better. The recovery is so much better. But if you have anything, an incompetent cervix, pregnancy-induced hypertension, or any reason that your uh, OBGYN has said not to work out, please, 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 check with them before you do it. But uh, most of the certified trainers can construct a program for you. Obviously, uh, in the office, I'm going to say you can treadmill, elliptical, low-impact aerobics. If you are not a beginner, you might want to be careful on the treadmill and elliptical because we definitely don't want you falling off because I have to get up in the middle of the night and come in. So exercise is, is definitely a benefit to pregnancy. 100%. I've actually had the pleasure of having 14 women from pillar to post of the pregnancy. Now, each of these women also exercised before they were pregnant. But, as she said, 100. Um, the pregnancy feels much smoother, number one. Number two, um, recovery after you've been pregnant has gone so much faster. So if you do like to work out and you want to get back to working out, you use the recovery time in between six weeks as opposed to eight or ten or twelve weeks. Um, also, I've noticed the stress level for the pregnancies for the women and with pregnancies who are pregnant have been lower. So it is a benefit all the way around. So definitely also consult your physicians all the way in OB because you want to make sure something is still safe for you so far as the heart rate and what have you. You're not cutting off any air of the fetus, so forth and so on, but otherwise, fantastic work out in our pregnancy. Now, as I've gotten more mature, I told you I don't say older, there is still this little struggle with this little pooch. That's pattern. wisdom, isn't it? I don't Looking like your wisdom. Don't like wisdom. I like okay. wisdom up here. And so the question's always been, how do you get rid of, rid of this belly fat? Now, to be honest, and we'll talk to Doc when we get to have some of this belly fat is by design because as your ovaries stop making estrogen, by design, this belly fat will give you some of that, that hormonal production back. Yeah. We don't like it. So how do we get rid of it? One, I mean, you certainly have to maintain uh, an ideal body weight. And um, exercise is key, but again, you cannot out-exercise a poor diet. Uh, would you recommend any supplement? And, and again, check with your physician before you take any supplements. Because part of being menopausal is a little bit stressful. You know, the hot flashes, you're not sleeping well at night. And life, you know, when you get more mature, life sometimes gets in the way. And you're producing something called cortisol. And in the right amount, cortisol is good for the body. 
but in too much cortisol, you start to uh, deposit belly fat. Uh, insulin production, if you're eating a whole lot of the bad foods, right. insulin will tell the body to hold on to fat. And for women, guess what? So any supplements you would recommend? Uh, and I know I've, I've heard some ladies talk to me about CLA. Yes, CLA can be good. Raspberry ketones can be good. Ketones are a number of sources. Raspberry can be good. Um, L-carnitine can be very good. Once again, though, before you take any supplement, even when it's natural, please consult your doctor. Because like she said, some of that is going to be there. We can maybe use some of it, but not quite all of it all the time. And please also don't ever get confused with that, that with the elasticity of your skin, especially as you get older, just not being the same. I'd like to be, but I'm not 25 anymore, and as the money will get older. What's wrong with yeah. having flat stomach, Al? No, 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 no. I mean, we, well, I we know we got you. Please. No, no, no. I said, oh, okay. I am not. Well, you don't well, you know, I mean, know. I said, I am not 25. Oh, I thought I knew better. Okay, tell that. No, I've known this one for about 15 years yeah. or so. Yeah. Even kind of got this outfit, but I didn't even plan on it I together. Know, it had, that's, that's Wait, so I didn't say her. I said, oh, okay, I've heard it. Okay, I thought he said it was more than 25. No, I thought that was what he said. Okay, well, I knew better than that. But, um, no, it, and some of that, like I said, is going to be less. It's just not there in your skin. But with a great diet and with exercise, you can keep it to a minimum. And that will keep your stomach, if not the flattest, it will keep your stomach tight. But, again, 50 is about mind, body, and spirit. So if you are stressed out, and I don't know how to tell people not to be stressed. I do believe 10% of life is what happens. 90% is how you respond to it. So you do have to work on your stressors. You know, if it's work, if it's home, whatever it is. Because when you're stressed, you're going to make cortisol. And cortisol is going to tell the body to hold on to fat. So, certainly. Uh, there's been one question that comes out a lot now, and, and we talked about this, is energy drink. Is I need some energy. Now, part of it, I think you don't realize when you take in caffeine, you get a high, mm-hmm. you get a body. You get a crash. Uh-huh. You get a high, and you get a body. Everybody needs that cup of coffee for for that high in the morning when I really like a little bit of coffee just for warmth. So I'll start out with a, a small cup of coffee and I never drink the whole thing. But what's your opinion on energy drinks? Not a huge fan of energy drinks. Not a huge fan. Coffee? I actually think it's just caffeine. That's what it is. But with energy drinks, you get more than caffeine. And you've got a lot of stuff that your body may not be used to, may not be familiar with, and you can have a pretty poor reaction. Once again, if you want to consult your doctor to ask the question, what will these products do to me? That's a better situation. Otherwise, not a huge, huge fan, especially a lot of people trying to take energy drinks before they work out to try to get that high. So basically, if you're going to take your heart rate to a higher level and then go work out to be a higher level, it becomes very, very dangerous. And I say, I don't love energy drinks. But coffee, I definitely understand. Caffeine, I definitely understand. And so one thing, fizzy, what is it? We want to make sure we bring you some food guides. We want to make sure we give you some exercises for beginners, intermediates, and the advanced. We definitely want to talk to you about your handling life. You know, uh, one big thing that I always say, and, and piggyback on this with me, Al, is the bridge between accomplishment and goals is discipline. Everything we're talking about is going to take discipline. Now, I think it may take baby steps. We're not saying that you're going to get this tonight and tomorrow it's going to work for you. You know, it takes discipline. Absolutely right. And, like, this young lady did not get where she is overnight. So always trust in the process. First and foremost, believe in yourself, but trust in the process. And it is a process. It's a daily betterment of yourself. It's a daily improvement. And every day we can make ourselves better in some way. If we decided not to eat that second piece of candy, if we decided to go work out, or we decided to do something and maybe journal for our mind or for our soul, or pray, whatever the case may be, every day is a process and we keep improving. So trust in that process. Please. Because winners are not people who don't fail. Winners are people who don't quit. And so fitting again is about not quitting. Don't give up. You know, if you mess up, tell your trainer, and they'll give you some extra workout. But and and this is what I want to ask you a question. And what about the person who just cannot afford a trainer? And and you don't have to have a trainer. Now it's great because guess what? I give him my word. I'm going to be here uh, in the evenings, or if I'm going to the other gym at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, you want to talk about that? Okay. But, for real, what would you tell a person who couldn't afford a trainer? Um, 
there's so many different outlets and this that's where with social media there's so many different things you can follow once again consult your doctor find out what you can do so far as the activity level but at that point go out and walk from your walk take your walk to a jog from your jog take your jog to a run once again it's baby steps run i mean walk before you run and so on you can always build up on what you've done the previous day and just get started once you get started there are so many avenues out there that are open to you that will not cost a thing. A walk in the park, um, playing with the dog outside, finding a local pool, going to me. Yeah, apps too. Apps, all yeah. kinds of apps. Awesome. So many different outlets that you can use and, um, um, that won't afford you much money at all. Please, take advantage. There's a wheel, there's a way. There's you can make it happen. And you, you just got to start doing something. Start somewhere. Even in the morning, you can get up, spend two minutes in a quiet space, talking to your spiritual higher person. For me, it's Jesus Christ. I talk, you know, and I'm talking to him all day long, thank God, for him who keeps me sane. But you got to have um, a quiet time in the morning. Just kind of get up and center yourself. Start your day out with something positive. And I'll tell you guys, I remember saying, and I had to say it for years, and, and you might find it funny, I would say, I'm out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty of more to put in store. I walk in the favor of God and everything I'm involved in is shall prosper. I see it there every day. And one day I looked up on my I'm going to start saying that, by the way. I do love that. I'm going to start saying that, by the way. You better say it. Okay. You know, and I, I mean, I say, I'm the head, not the tail. I'm above, not the knee. I'm blessed going in and I'm blessed going out. I would say it. I would write it. And you see on marriage medicine, heavenly right? I think I just got the word. I love that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use all that right now. Very low. 
an impact, just lift and lower, just lift and lower. I have no weight, just the resistance of the weight of my leg, no more, no less. Simply lift until they burn. It will not take long to force the other leg. It's just a couple of simple ideas that you can use anytime, anywhere. Once again, it doesn't cost anything. You can do them at home. And did you say so, we can get the free one? 